Good morning. Um, Miss Wesley is out today. So um, here's two videos that I'll be making. Um, the first one is this bell ringer. So um, which type of evidence was not used by Alfred Wegener to support his continental drift hypothesis? Was it A, evidence from climate, B, evidence from fossils, C, evidence from humans' remains, or D, evidence from matching coastlines? So uh, if you go into your unit 3.3 bell ringer, today is the 30th. So um, which type of evidence, which type of evidence was not, mm -hmm, was not used by Alfred Wegener mm, to support his continental drift hypothesis. Drift hypothesis. Boom. So there's the question. Um, take a moment. Give me your guess. Or if you remember from yesterday's reading, give me what you actually think here. Um, and then write that in, A, B, C, or D, and then I will answer it. All right, so the answer is C, human remains. Um, humans weren't around when all the continents were together. So Pangea. There were no people around at that time. So this is your bell ringer. Um, after your bell ringer, you can go into lithosphere, dynamic earth. You're going to open up your notes. And you're either going to go into your email, um, which I sent you this link to, or you're going to scroll down to the videos on content and open up this video to get the, um, the notes, all right? You are responsible for them. By the time I come back, you should have them all done, highlighted, ready to go. When you're done with your notes, you can read your CK12, which is right here. Let me publish it. It's Magnetic Polarity Evidence of Continental Drift CK12. All right, there she be. See you guys in a bit.